Hello guys and welcome back to Investing Beginner. I'm back with you today with my monthly portfolio update on my dividend stocks. So I'll just be logging into my free trade account for you now and just show you how the portfolio is done for the month of September. I know I'm a little late on this update but I've been quite busy in my personal life guys so I do apologise for that but anyway I'm just going to log into it now. And as we can see, the portfolio stands at £3,506.50. Let's go through the graph with you now. You can see 8th of October, I did invest £50, went up to uh, 3600 then. We had a, quite a bit of a dip, guys, as you can see. The lowest it got down to was around 3463 But we are seeing now it is rising back up again, which is really good to see. So now into the stocks guys, so the first one is Abvi, I own 6 shares of Abvi and they are up 11% this month and I'm up £37.80 on my investment with Abvi, these have had quite a big turnaround guys, they was around, I was down around £30-£40 pounds on them about 2 months ago but Abvi have really shot back up. The next we have is Verizon, another quite consistent performer down 0.63% for the month. I own, set, I own eight shares with average cost of £45.82 and I'm up around 0.72% on my investment. Next on the list we have is AT&T. These have also been performing uh, incredibly well guys over a good period of months now. Up another 3.27% 3, 3 this month. I own 12 shares of AT&T with the average cost of £24.92 and I'm up 20% on my investment. Another one of the top performers in my portfolio, Coca-Cola, down 1.36% this month. I own 7 shares with the average cost of £36.96 and I'm up still 10% on my investment with Coke. Next is probably the worst performing stock this month, which is Colgate. They're down, as you can see, 8.67% in the last month. I own five shares with the average cost of £57.94 and I'm down 13% on my investment with Colgate. I read it was something to do with the um, how much they've made, or I'm not quite sure, guys. I did look into it, but I, I forgot what it said. But anyway, the next stock we have is Microsoft. Microsoft up 5.42% this month. I own two shares with the average cost of £112.24 and I'm down 0.74% on my investment at the moment. Next up we have is Ford. Ford on a bit of a rise again. They're up 3.69% this month. I own 31 shares with the average cost of £7.92, but I'm still down 12.37% um, on my total investment on Ford. Next we have is Johnson & Johnson, who are down 2.2% this month. I own two shares with the average cost of £105.50, and I'm down 4.69% on my total investment. The next one is Starbucks, another one who's taken a bit of a hit this last 30 days or so, down 4%. I own three shares, the average cost is £73, and I'm down 13% on my total investment. I feel like Starbucks has been quite overpriced, uh, so I'm not too shocked, but we'll just have to see how it plays out with them. Next up we have Israel at Shell, who are down 1.37% this month. I own the six shares of Shell on the average cost of £24.80 and I'm down 6% in total. Next on the list we have is Pfizer who are performing quite well this month up 6%. I own four shares with the average cost of £28.91 and I'm up 1.62%. Next up we have is PepsiCo and they are down 2.3% this month. I own just the one share of PepsiCo with the average cost of £110.50 and I'm down 5.73% in total. Another stock who's been performing quite badly over the last few months really but they're down a further 5% this month is Imperial Brands. 
I'm, I'm sort of holding out with Imperial Brands whether to put more money in there. Obviously, they do say you're supposed to buy in the dips, but I just need to do a bit more research into this company and see where they're headed at. But I own six shares, average cost of twenty pounds and twenty pence, and I'm down fourteen percent in total. Next up, we have is Walmart. They were up 0.29% this month. I own just one share of Walmart uh, with average cost of £91.76 and I'm down 1.29% on my total investment. Next up we have is the US corporate bond who are down 5.26% this last month. I own two shares with average cost of £42.08. And I'm still up 1.27% on my initial invest on my total investment, sorry. And next up we have is BP who are up 1.75% this last month. I own 12 shares with the average cost of £5.46 and I'm down just under 5% in total. Next is one of the better performing stocks is Bank of America who are up a good solid 14.5% in the last 30 days. I own two shares with the average cost of £21.96 and I'm up 13.77% on my total investment with Bank of America. Next up is a new acquisition we have is the S&P Dividend Aristocrat. I, have, um, I, I wanted to change my strategy a little bit. I want to get a few more ETFs in there which pay good dividends. But I'm up 0.42% this month. I own one share with the average cost of £44.71 and I'm up 1.69% on my total investment. Next up we have is Intel. Intel, another great um, performing uh, stock for this last month for me. Up 13.81%. I own one share, unfortunately, on one share. I do want to be looking at more of these. I think Intel will be a good solid company into 2020 and beyond. And the one share average cost of £37.53 and I'm up around 18.38% on my investment. Next up is another ETF, the FTSE All World Dividend, Global High Dividend, up 1% in the last 30 days. I own one share with the average cost of £43.56 and I'm up 1% on my whole investment. Next up is Wells Fargo, another well-performing banking stock, up 8% this last 30 days. I own one share with the average cost of £35.88 and I'm up 13.24% with my whole investment. And next up we have National Grid, up 1.98% this last month. I own three shares with the average cost of £8.22 and I'm up a good 8.69% on my whole investment. Next up we have Taylor Wimpy, another one doing really well last month, up 12.25%. I own the 14 shares of Taylor Wimpy with the average cost of £1.81 and I'm down 6.83% on my investment with Taylor Wimpy. Next up we have is Vodafone, Still consistently doing quite well, but in the last month they're down 0.29%. I own 14 shares, the average cost of £1.52, and I'm up 6.3% with my total investment. And then the last one on the portfolio list is Lloyd's, who are up 11% this month. I own 39 shares with the average cost of 0 0.62, which is 62 pence, and I'm still down almost 7% on my whole investment. So that's it for the portfolio update guys. So I'm just gonna take you for a look at the, rec the recent acquisitions that I've purchased since my last um, portfolio update. As you can see, I um, my last video was around about the 20th of September. So since then I've bought six shares in Ford on the 30th of September, two more shares of BP, and then you can see more shares of Vodafone. I actually sold commercial property as I was in a bit of profit, so I thought the dividend isn't really great. And I can't see a lot of growth with these, but I decided to sell and I bought another share of Colgate. And again, I've topped up 50 pounds, sold Aviva as I was in profit with Aviva as well, as I feel like they don't pay 
a good enough dividend or a regular dividend, which allow me to buy two more shares of Pfizer. And obviously the last thing uh, I bought the S&P dividend aristocrat as well, which is a new acquisition. And then finally, I added two more positions in Ford on the 1st of November. So that's it for the portfolio update today, guys. If you uh, please, if I could remind you to like, like this video and subscribe to the channel, it really helps with the algorithm and get in the comments and let me know what you think of my portfolio update for the month of October. That's it for today, guys. Enjoy the rest of your days. Bye.